Hi again, Toastmasters, and welcome to another edition of Did You Know? Today, we're going to talk about Google Forms. Google Forms are great for anything where you're trying to gather information. One thing that we've used it for recently in some clubs is voting on Sparkplug and Toastmaster of the Year. Let me show you how this is done. Again, you will need a Gmail account to do this. So from your Gmail account, you're going to click on the nine dots next to your profile for your apps. Now you can go to Docs, Slides, I'm going to go to Sheets. From Google Sheets, you'll click on the little hamburger up on the left and click on Forms. Click on Blank. This is going to let you create whatever type of form you want. This one's going to be Spark Plug and Toastmaster, so we're going to call it Leadership Awards. But you can call it whatever you want. And you can put some type of description about what it is. We're going to say vote now, but you can put anything. Then you're going to add a question. We're going to put Spark Plug of the Year. And then you want to find out what type of question that you're asking or what type of answer. In this case, we want a short answer. We want people to be able to type in whatever they want, but you could choose multiple choice. You have all kinds of options here. We're gonna put that this is required. And then we also wanna do Toastmaster of the Year. So we're gonna click the little plus symbol over on the right side, and we're gonna add the other question for Toastmaster of the Year. It defaults to multiple choice. We wanna change this to short answer. And again, we want to make this required so that nobody can opt out of answering the question. You have some options over on the side. You can do some description, some other things. You can import questions that are already built and you have other options. You can add pictures if you want. We're not going to do any of that in this demonstration, but that is something that you can play around with later if that is something that you're interested in. Then we want to share this, send it out. So we're going to click on send. Now we could email it, but we're going to just get a link. And the reason we're going to do that is because we can drop it in a chat. We can do anything we want with it. If we want it anonymous, we will not click on collect email addresses. However, if you click on collect email addresses, it will tell you who answered what. We're going to get a link, copy the link. And then right now, we are going to email. So I'm going to compose an email. And I'm going to paste the link into this email. I'm just going to send it to a couple people so that I can show you how the responses work. Once we get our email set up, we know who we're sending it to. We paste the link in. And we can hit send. Recently in a club meeting, we used this exact same form and we just pasted the link into the chat. Everybody was able to access it, answer the questions, and we had all of our votes for Toastmaster and Spark Plug of the Year done in a matter of a couple seconds. However, if you send out the link by email, it will look like this. And your voters will click on the link, they'll see your form they'll be able to put in their answers. I think we'll vote for Mickey and Donald. And they will click submit when they're done answering your questions. It verifies their response was recorded. Now, if we go back over to our form that we had created, you will see now there's questions and then to the right is responses and it says I have two responses, which is how many I sent out. And it shows me a summary of the responses. So it looks like Mickey got two votes for Spark Plug of the Year and Donald and Minnie each got a vote. Now you can view this information in different ways. I think the summary is good. 
but you can also turn it into a Google spreadsheet, which is amazing. So we want to make it a new spreadsheet and we're going to create. And there you see all of your information in an awesome spreadsheet form. Now, if you wanted to share this spreadsheet with someone, you could use the share feature from Google Sheets, which was talked about in my last video, which will be listed and linked below if you missed that one. And you can learn how to use the share feature. Google Forms can be used for so many applications. You can use them for voting for a number of things and keep them anonymous by not clicking on that collect email addresses. You can use it for getting contact information from guests. So you could create a Google form with all of the different contact information that you would like to collect from your guests. And anytime you have a guest in one of your meetings, you can copy the link and paste it into your chat, have your guests fill it out, and it will download then to the spreadsheet that you created to go with that form. That way, you always have a spreadsheet that has all the contact information for all of your guests all in one place. And you can share it with whoever needs to have that information. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Did You Know? Please subscribe to this channel to continue to see more episodes. Thank you.